Hello guys, welcome to this week's video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create a foraging area from grout. Firstly, when you have an established ant colony with workers, you will always need an area for them to explore and scout. This is where a foraging area comes into play. The foraging area represents the outside world for the ants and is used to replicate the ants natural environment. The ants will use the provided space to forage for sugary foods and to hunt potential prey. But all ants will use any extra room as a dumping ground for dead colony members or for uneaten food wastes. This is why it is highly recommended that you have a foraging area for your ants, as feeding your ants and cleaning up after them is made easier. So, sometimes when first time ant keepers make a foraging area for their ants, they tend to provide the ants with a tub filled with soil or sand. If the substrate has a thick enough depth, some ants will see that as a potential nest. Although most of you will refrain from watering the substrate to prevent the ants from doing this, some ants use their saliva to moisten the substrate to be able to move it. So this is where a grout foraging area can come in handy. So some of you are probably asking yourselves, well what is grout? Grout is a fluid form of concrete used to fill gaps between tiles and slabs. It is generally a pre-made mixture of water, cement and sand and comes in a variety of colours such as grey, white and beige. This is a fantastic mixture to use for the base of foraging areas as it doesn't shrink when drying like clay would and provides an undiggable substrate for your ants. So before I get started on this tutorial, be sure to hit the subscribe and bell button to join the colony, as I upload new anting videos every weekend. And if you find yourself liking this nest building tutorial, be sure to check out the playlist I have created for tutorials. So let's get started. Let's go through all of the things you will need to complete your grout foraging area. Firstly, you will need a basin or tank to build your foraging area. Next, you will need your grout. I have gone for a grey look to give my desert themed foraging area a more naturalistic feel. You will then require some water to liquefy your grout. Next, an empty tub for mixing. You will also need some substrate to layer the top of your grout. And finally, to give your foraging area a more naturalistic feel, you can add some fake fauna and perhaps some decorative rocks. So to begin with, you will need to mix up some grout and water until it is the same consistency as toothpaste. If you make it too thick or thin, it can be quite hard to shape, so be sure to take your time. Next. It is time to pour our mixture into our tub and create a small 1cm foundation layer. If you find you have got some grout onto the sides of your tank, you can easily wipe it off with a piece of wet tissue. Now it's time to add some small hilly areas to our foraging area. I find creating different elevations in the tank gives it a more realistic look. It's now time to sprinkle our chosen substrate over our grout. Along with this desert themed foraging area, I will also be creating a forest themed foraging area. Now it is time to get creative and place in our decorative fauna and rocks.
After leaving the grout to dry for 24 hours, our foraging areas have now become undiggable and are almost ready to house some ants. Before we introduce this foraging area to a colony, we need to create some entry holes for some tubing. When I always drill a hole through plastic, acrylic or perspex, I drill a small incision first with a micro drill piece. This will keep the main drilling in the location where we want it. I tend to use a small Dremel to shape my entry holes as they are easy to control and usually come with some great attachments like this sandpaper cone. Now that the foraging areas are ready, I think it is time to use one of them for a colony. I will be introducing the forest foraging area to my new Mimicarubra colony. I recently moved this wonderful little colony into this new nest from my nest moving video. If you want to see that video, I will leave a link down below in the description. This four queen colony is doing really well. They have a small batch of brood and have been curiously exploring their new nest. Some of you are probably asking yourselves, isn't there supposed to be one queen? Well, this type of ant is polygenous, which means they can have multiple queens. But it is time to give them a naturalistic foraging area as these ants originate from temperate forests around Europe. This foraging area I have constructed does not consist of a lid and these ants are extremely good climbers so there is no doubt they will escape from this foraging area. So after experimenting with a few anti-breakout methods such as Vaseline, PTFE and talcum powder I found talcum powder to be the most effective. It was so effective, in fact, that not a single ant escaped. So, let's now apply this mixture to our new foraging area. Firstly, you will want to do four parts talcum powder to one part water to get a nice paste that is easy to layer. My example here was slightly too runny, but I applied some blue tack to the sides of the foraging area to prevent it from dripping down. I find masking or painter's tape works great as well as a barrier for the drips. After applying the mixture, I left it to dry for about 20 minutes. After the liquidizing powder had dried, it formed a layer of powder which would essentially break away when the ants attempted to walk on it. Now our foraging area is ready to be explored. After plugging it in, the ants instantly show an interest in their new foraging area. Even one of the four queens took a trip outside to see the new surrounding area. I highly recommend these types of foraging areas for any ant species as they are highly customizable. As you can see here I have created a couple of micro grout foraging areas. These would be ideal for a much smaller colony perhaps in the founding stages of their development. So, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and if you did, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. And, as always, if you decide to create something from one of my nest building tutorials, be sure to email me at antsbritain at gmail.com. We have had some amazing nest designs sent through to us recently. Here are a couple created by Henry, aka Antimonium, and Christopher, aka Ants Cyprus. If you want to check out their channels, I will leave a link down below in the description. So guys, that's the end of the video. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button to join the colony. And be sure to check out my Instagram and Facebook for any behind the scenes footage. Alright guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll be seeing you in the next one.